Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Vampire Hunters, an FPS horde survival action roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. Let's pop on in and see what this one is all about. Well, hello. Bang. Uh, WC to move, left mouse button to shoot. Goodbye. Can we... Okay, we can also sprint. Cool deal. Okay. Reward flamethrower submachine gun. Auto fire. Hold the trigger and watch the mayhem. The more you upgrade, the faster it shoots. Is there, are these like tiers? Is this like a legendary or what? Okay. So we're going to want to grab all that stuff. Reward launcher bat bat. This one's red. So I must. Is it actually? It's a bat. Bat, bat, pusher. Boss slayer, sniper. So how do I... Wait, okay. So they're all just on left click. Except for the... How do I get the bat to go? As you level up, you can improve your skills and gain new weapons. Okay. Killing enemies will increase your combo. Press R to reload. Sniper auto fire. Auto fire. Well, I mean, if they're... Okay, so here's the thing. If they're all on the same button, they're all going to have completely different fire patterns. So, like, that actually sounds like that might be a big deal here. Pulse gun. Sharpen vision, increase damage by distance. Yep, they're just straight up all on left click here. That is some silly, silly stuff. Killing enemies fills your blood vial. Okay. Machine pulse gun pusher. Shoots enemies and pushes them back. Ricochet submachine gun. I'm going to go for just another gun. I'm going to fill up my entire screen here. Press F to bloody rush. Secondary weapons. It said Q? Q. Oh, Okay. Hold shift to run, but be careful because more enemies will spawn. Okay. That's oh, so much louder. Okay, so we... So the wall is chasing after us. I really like the kind of like... Single hallway cavern kind of idea. Second hand rifle. You're... <laughs> You're not joking. That is straight up... An extra weapon that is just in a whole new hand. Can we get a third hand? Can we, like, start holding something of just, what, like, dead cent center in the middle of the screen, too? Okay. Elemental rifle. Familiar cat, though. No, more gun. Yep, that just, that's getting added to my second hand now. Interesting. So if we sprint, it spawns more enemies, it said. Laser? <laughs> the audio back. I can't. I can't. <laughs> All right. Boop. It's like, I had the audio balance. I was like, hey, wow, that's actually pretty decent. But then you start adding more guns every 10 seconds, and you get the laser that goes blank because you have to, like, you have to fire it again. It's a weapon that theoretically you're supposed to be holding, but because you have a pistol as your main weapon as well, you want to be firing, like tap shooting. Am I crazy? Doesn't that seem like, you know, having seven, eight, what, eight weapons that have different firing patterns? I mean, add the minigun. That seems wild. Woo. Do I get anything for that? They didn't drop anything. <laughs> All right. Still. Even so, I keep on popping it down. I opened the game and there was a sound that blew out my ears, so I cut the sound effects in half, and boy, we're st still going down. Whoop. Not feeling a strong draw to use the melee weapon, but maybe that's just because we're not... 
they're not getting to me that much yet. So how much can we... Launcher gets burned. Familiar rat, dragon whip. I do want to see what... It seems like the last orange thing we got was an entire extra hand, which let me grab four more weapons. So... It, I'm thinking that orange is indeed like a legendary upgrade. Familiar cat, yes please. Passive weapons offer automatic... Okay. I was... Sorry. Forgive me, game. I was busy playing the game. I wish that that didn't go away so fast. Okay. Cool deal. So I'm just trying to figure out if it makes more sense to, like, technically... I hear the cat did something. Orb. Revolver gets ricochet. I want... What orb? What orb do? Yeah, the fact you don't pick up all the experience that drops on the ground is kind of surprising. Zoop. Extra damage on the rifle. I'll get a dragon whip. Okay, so it was it was what Q and uh, Q and E. Okay. <laughs> Play the sound effect for smacking a guy for every single guy that it smacked. I am starting to lose the ability to see the screen. I fear that any more weapons and we are done for. Extra damage on the launcher. Laser, max ammo, machine gun critical. Is this like a survive an X amount of time or are we trying to get to the end of the corridor? Wait, hold on. Let's uh, let's gather a bunch of fools. Auto fire launcher. Oh, kill, kill, kill. So we get like we got this crazy combo stacking up up there, which is giving us a lot more soul chance. Yeah, the the fact that we have this laser going, pusher, submachine gun. I don't even still... I don't know what the orb do. Freeze stops enemies. Sure. Again, it seems like a legendary upgrade of some kind. Could be wrong. Big boss. I, I cannot hit him with it. I mean... I feel like the strategy is basically just get as many weapons as you can that do the exact same firing pattern. Does it stop? It do. Let me get my... <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Increase weapon damage by 25%. 50 times? Are you wild? Okay, it's a grind it game. Oh, it's a grind it game. Okay, we got achievements. Whoop. Okay, somebody just got really excited. I just got really... I got really disappointed. I can't deny. I do prefer a game to have an intended difficulty and not be like you grind out the ability to win the game. It looks like that might be what we're in for. We'll have to see. Hunters with their badges on display are ready for work. No hunter works for free, so they need to be hired. Click on the hunter's weapon to see his skills and hiring price. Each hunter specializes in a different weapon and has intrinsic abilities. Passive regenerates your HP by 0.6 per second. Increases time to combo. Okay. We'll advance the payment this time. Well, why didn't I get a bunch of money for winning that? Choose an available hunter and go on your first mission. Regenerating HP and increasing combo time sounds good to me. Increase the extra the chance to drop an extra soul by 20%. That sounds really good, too. But I do like the idea of kind of like an automatic firing. Gotcha. So what do we... Ooh... I got that song's so good. I, I that's so, I like it. Oh, 
that's a good song. So we got a rifle. I feel like I want to play BPM here. Okay. Trying to keep on moving oh, and grooving. Revolver. I don't really want anything that's going to be a tap fire. It seems like that'd be stupid. I'll get a cat, but I don't know what the cat does. I'm reloading. Yeah, I can't really keep a combo going. So we kind of need to wait quite a bit. Yeah, my reload time is actually too big for me to get a combo going. Uh, yes, minigun, please. I can't, couldn't get a combo higher than what we had. Laser, Rampage, this weapon gains fire rate when your low, HP is low. I mean, I'll grab a, a laser. We kind of have a bunch of weapons that are doing a similar firing pattern right now. Which, again, I think might be the strat. Flamethrower, I mean, that's also a hold fire pattern. Covers the screen. Okay. I have my dash. Okay, hold on. Let's um be a little bit silly for a second. Yeah. Nothing? That doesn't drop anything? Reload speed increases on the flamethrower or on the minigun or damage up on the flamethrower. I'll go for reload on the minigun. Okay, does, is the cat just dropping money? And the, the, I think that's meta currency. Okay. Shotgun, pulse gun, boss slayer. I'd rather have something that's going to help me right now. Okay, get the purples. Orb, that, that. Corpse, corpse bomb. I gotta admit... Enemies exploding on death sounds great. Oh, only if they're killed with the flamethrower? Is that what that is? Oh, I got hit there. Rip. I still have to... I have to hold down fire, but the thing is... Well, something's reloading. Oh, it's kind of weird. I'll get max ammo up on the minigun. I do have to still every once in a while go let up on the fire and then fire again. Like after something is proven it's reloaded. And there's obviously like going to be too many guns for you to keep track of all that stuff so it's kind of like well what, are you, what am I supposed to do dude? Familiar rat, pulse gun, rain, range up? Crit chance. I don't know. Do I want to what does the rat do? It's my last choice. I don't know what it... I don't know what it does. I don't know what the cat's doing either. My guess is it's giving me money. Bomb, pulse gun, extra damage, weakness on the flamethrower, reduce damage dealt by enemies, extra damage on the pulse gun. Let's go for damage. Okay, we have a 50, 61 kill streak. Familiar Raven fine. I mean, it's, it's, this one's green. I don't know if the rat was, was, what color was the rat? I feel like that was also green. I don't know if that means anything either. Dragon whip. Extra damage on the flamethrower. Extra damage on the flamethrower does sound good, though. Just strictly because that's the thing with the corpse bomb. Pulse gun, extra damage. So, let's up the pulse gun, like, a lot. Okay. Whoop. Where's my souls? Kill streak is over a hundred. Minigun extra damage, yes. I do like the idea of our minigun. Uh, what the hell? Reload speed up on the uh, the reload speed up on the flamethrower. Sure. I can't see what. I can't see anything. I can't see these guys. Are you kidding me? Where are the enemies? They're so small. What is this? What a choice this was. I can't see them. They're literally so small. 
This is such a... This was such a bad choice. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I can't see them at all. Uh, piercing on the pulse gun. That sounds good. Wait, this... Why does that one get a highlight? But not the tiny ones that are actually impossible to see. That is so strange. Definitely getting uh, chased down pretty tight here. Pulse gun, max ammo up, laser, death reload, chance to instant reload when killing an enemy. That sounds really nice. Feels like that probably would make it so it is always active. Critical chance up. Buff gives a random buff from time to time. Sure. Don't know what that means yet. It's not very specific. This is kooky. Critical chance on the minigun. Bat, bat, expose. If you hit them with the whip, they get exposed. I'll go for minigun crit chance, I guess. Okay. I got a buff of some kind. Question mark. All right. This is this game is bizarre. All right, fine. For the love of God, give me the bat, bat. Help with the bats. Oh. Couldn't tell you what the buff is. Pulse gun, rampage, fire when your HP is low, dragon whip, critical damage, or critical chance. You know, I'd rather just upgrade our weapon, our uh, main weapons, because I'm kind of thinking of our range stuff as uh, like last ditch effort stuff. You know, like if you're see, it's like a if you're seeing this, you failed on the crit chance for that thing. Okay. I mean, enemies are exploding. When I look at them, they go away. Slow, shot slow enemies. Rifle, hold the tr trigger to do damage the longer you hold it. I mean, yeah. That lines up with how I'm trying to do this. Anyway. How much have I left? Unclear. Bye. Bye. Familiar Raven shot slows enemy dragon with point blank max ammo on the laser. I think we're probably fine. So the Raven is spinning around us. Oh, that feels nice. Uh, <laughs> Melting. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Nope. Never mind. Goodbye, sir. It's not that many spawning. I can't really even get a combo going. I've... Okay. Flamethrower hold the longer to do more damage. Sure. Evaporate. 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 Whatever this buff is, I feel like it is really good from the cat. I just wish I knew what the hell it was. Okay. Ow. Ow, things hurt. That guy's shooting out three bullets? I can't see anything anymore. I mean, I could. it was already tough to see anything. Want to look for the green skulls first, if we can help it. Dragon Whip, Familiar Cat, buffs, gives... I mean, I'm... Hell, whatever it was, I think it's really good. Like, I don't know if it's whatever it is. Maybe it's something that's not balanced for meta progression. Oh, okay. Okay, things are getting gross now. Where's the wall? So far back? I can take my time. I have no idea where the wall is, so we don't even need to worry. Don't even fret. Just don't... Never press the sprint button. Okay. Is 
Is that the end? Seems like it. Let me have those. I don't know which thing is really helping us. I think the flamethrower gets extra damage as it... Oh, God. Uh, hello. Uh... What? What? <laughs> okay. Batilla is has been killed. Damage, DPS, the minigun... The minigun absolutely was the thing that carried that. Great to know. Okay. Minigun is broken. Rifle actually did pretty good DPS too, but that minigun is obviously... Cat didn't do damage. Good job, Hunter. Looks like you've unlocked an achievement. Let's see it. Here you can see the name, requirements, and progress of the rewards. Here comes the monkey bat running after me. Slay a Batilla. Slay ten enemies with a blood rush. Five minutes in a run. One minute in a run. Two enemies with a single shot. Five primary weapons. Fifty coins. Twenty coins. Slay skull. Curse skull. Skull. Demon. Bat. Careface. Gremlin. Bat. Level 25. Level 20. Level 15. Level 10. Level 5. Combo level 100. Combo level 80. Combo level 50. Combo level 20. Jesus. Hunter, it's time to train your skills. Invest in upgrades to get more powerful. Each upgrade will help you in different situations. With enough blood, clo blood coins, you can trade here. Train here. Oh my god. Okay, well, first things first. Oh, no, Submachine gun, all weapon, fire rate up by 30%. Weapon damage up by 5% when you're at half. Pulse gun. Anybody start with a minigun? Asking for a friend. Machine gun. Increase all weapons, ammo by 50%, and reload speed. I mean, that sounds amazing, to be honest. And that's only 10? Increase weapon damage by 50%? Wait, what? Just The game is just throwing around such big numbers here. So I'll get that. And now we'll upgrade. I guess I'll do, like... Increase my damage by 50%. Fire rate up. Max HP up. I mean, I could. Heal per second. Sounds nice. Incre decrease damage taken. What else we got? I just... I don't... HP on level up. Extra gold. Soul. Multiplies your souls gained by 1.5? That literally just level up 50% faster? chance for a fourth option to appear do we have like a pickup radius magnet pickup distance by 50 percent okay let's get a couple of those that sounds so nice hell i'm gonna get one more and i guess we'll just get even more damage max ammo up sure we got seven left chance for a fourth option to appear sure is there another um okay so there's not another zone okay so that's the switch i mean sure yeah let's head in there i'll take another look here let's see how silly this is okay i will say i'm absolutely gonna be getting the um the minigun should it show up again. Elemental rifle freeze stops enemies extra damage. I mean... Seems big to me. Bat, bat, boss slayer, extra damage. I mean... Boss slayer is only good for such a small part of the run. 
Revolver, no extra damage, sure. Not relevant year, here, year? All right. It was also level five, implying that I um, I upgraded a whole bunch of times. Chance to reload instantly when killing an enemy. Sure. So, once you pick five upgrades, can you not pick up upgrades anymore? Oh my god, the fact that there's nothing behind us is so nice. Hold the trigger longer to do more damage. I mean, like, Boss Slayer sounds cool and all. Oh god. He just made it in. Minigun reload sounds good to me. Did I get a second hand last time? I can't even remember. It's so many things going on. Pulse gun, point blank minigun. I will take a, a pulse gun. I think that that sounds nice to have another. It really does seem like it's sort of the, the play, like shotgun. I just feel like the second I take shotgun, I've got a auto fire shot. Okay, well there you go. Problem solved. Auto firing shotgun. Turned it into an automatic weapon. That'll do. It'll get them off my face if they're in my face. Point blank minigun. More damage. Deals more damage to the closest enemy. I mean, the thing is, closest doesn't have to mean close. More damage to the closest enemy? I mean, I'm doing it. Fine. Since we have that real... I mean, it, the, it's doing some crazy damage. Man, I missed nothing behind us. That's silly. Missile. Minigun hold longer to do more damage. Yes. Again, it's not really a relevant thing this minute. But it will be. Yeah, this is feeling like a meta progression thing indeed. Go for the pulse gun upgrade. Elemental ri rifle reload speed up, sure. Okay. I don't have any uh, melee weapons yet. Minigun crit chance up, submachine gun. I could get the laser. Let's get the minigun crit chance up. Missile, familiar, raven, reload speed on the pulse gun. I'll get a raven. A little spin around me, do do dad. I do want to see something different for that, though. Minigun has... Okay, piercing on the minigun? Okay, hold on, hold on. That seems bizarre. If we can get... Um, kills can make your minigun reload. That sounds great. Machine gun. Familiar cat, that's the thing we had already. I'll get a machine gun. So maybe if we uh, maybe we can't get another hand until we pick up all the weapons already. Extra damage on the minigun. I mean, sure. Okay, this this section is so strange. Orb. What what do orb do? Just don't, basically just don't get hit by the tiny guys. Like, take our time, move back, we gotta. Looks like the orb maybe does damage around me. Kind of like does, looks like it's doing a little bit of an AoE pulse of some kind. Familiar Raven, Bat Bat, Dragon Whip. How can an, uh, how can the Raven get ammo? What does that even mean? It probably does something, but I just can't even fathom what it would be. Critical bomb? I'll get a bomb. Did I get hit? Is the bomb so the bomb is just like a grenade, yeah. Straight up. Wait, is it like oh god. Lost my combo there. Second hand revolver. I mean I'll take it to get a second hand. Because I don't know that that's necessarily an easy thing to find. But I'll get the automatic on the revolver if I can. I think that that is kind of... I gotta admit, it it's so weird that it... It feels like literally every weapon in the game should be automatic by default. That's my, that's my hot take. 
it basically shouldn't be that you could get screwed out of having it. I don't know. Because otherwise, like, I'm already going to develop Carpal Tunnel, my man. Like, I'm clicking like a son of a gun for a bunch of weapons that are automatic. I'm clicking so much. Get the rifle. Add it to the pile. Okay. He's dying less quickly than last time. I feel like I had some kind of crazy upgrade that I didn't know about. Okay. Laser. Machine gun hold the trigger longer. I mean, I'll add the laser. Let's just... We'll add it to the pile. Laser beams. Destroyer of audio balance. I also like that if, now if we serpentine, we just get all the money. We don't even have to look back. Again, almost making it so that it shouldn't exist. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, the pickup radius. Whoop. Where'd that guy go? The big boy died to that? I think he died to that. Launcher. Piercing laser. I'll get a launcher. Yeah, the launcher, it, it, it is a launcher indeed. So as soon as we get to the skull section, I'm a little bit more worried is what I was going to say. Maybe I don't need to be. Missile? Sure. Bonk. Do we need to be running? No. But I wouldn't mind running it for this section so that we don't have to when the uh, the green skulls show up inevitably. Okay. But yeah, we also like we don't even need to sprint. I feel like we are probably so far from the wall it's not even funny. Death reload on the shotgun. That is interesting. Reload speed increase on the miss machine gun. Okay, shotgun do be doing its thing here. Focus on them green guys. Okay. I have not needed to uh, do use any of my extras. I mean, the bomb seems fine at best. It's just too finicky in in this game right now. Yeah, give me some more crit chance on the minigun. There's just too many things to be managing to also be worried about a bomb. That being said, that was pretty cool. Yep. Whip, whip, whip. Okay. Pop, pop. Bolts from nowhere. Oh my god. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Like, the fact that you miss no money. Um, shotgun pusher, shoot, shots push enemies back. You know, maybe that works on the boss. I don't know. Hello, sir. You are the closest enemy to me. Oh, God, that's... What am I supposed... To, what are you supposed to do about that? Oh, there's the... The ground. I, you can't... I can't see that stuff on the... There's... My guns are in the way. That's a really cool idea. You see, like, on the ground, there's, like, the little... Who's it, what's it? That's a really clever idea. But the fact that the indicators are on the ground and covered up by all of your guns is actually kind of dumb. <laughs> like, there needs to be indicators on the ceiling, too. That's the only, like... 
that's the only real estate you have left in this game is the ceiling. So there needs to be like an indicator on the roof as well. Like, that's my take on that one. Because I ha you have to actively look down, which means you can't be shooting. Um, let's see. Yeah, minigun did 36 per second. We also, the thing is, we put tons of upgrades into it. It looks like the DPS is basically just tied to, um, to an extent to, um, however many upgrades you put in, which makes sense, which is good. That's, that is what you would want to see. All right, I am done. I'm not going to be doing another. Uh, it's cool. I am scared of this. And this is the thing. It is the thing. It's like, okay, well, if it's two sides of the same coin, it's like either A, you need the meta progression in order to win or B, this situation, which is I was able to win on my first attempt and my second attempt, and I can increase my damage by, <laughs> by, by how much? You know, like 2,000, whatever, 250, no, not 250, 2,000, just a stupid amount. No, just a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of value we could be getting from this, which begs the question is like, well, why is it here then? And I, I think that the answer would be because the full game is going to have a lot of um, a lot of these. It, it's just, it's always going to be something, you know, that's going to be hard to balance out. And the thing is, if you like grinding, you'll probably like what they end up doing. But it is clearly possible to win right now without it. But who's to say that's not going to change when the full game comes and things are going to be a little bit different. So your mileage may vary. If you like to grind, you'll probably like this. If you don't like to grind, you might still like it. I think that the core concept feels really fun. I think they desperately need to change uh, the tap fire weapons. It feels like it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense to have manual weapons in this game, in a game like this. It just does not make sense at all. I feel like that needs to be retooled, basically. Like maybe the... You know, the manual fire weapons can get nerfed in a little bit of a way. And it can be balanced out accordingly. I don't know. That or you should be guaranteed. I don't know. I don't know what the answer would be. Guaranteed the option of taking an auto fire. If you have a weapon that doesn't have an auto fire. I don't know. There, there's some way to fix it up. It's just, it's very awkward. That feeling like in a way that you maybe can't tell by watching. You could only tell by playing. That it's really weird to juggle eight weapons that might have completely different use cases with how you want to fire them all tied to the exact same button you know however if they're all automatic firing it, it kind of feels fine it feels fine and it kind of makes sense uh and they kind of amalgamate into one big dumb laser blast uh and it's and it's nice but alas alas that is that that's gonna do it here for today this has been vampire hunters uh it's part of the steam next fest which means it hopefully the demo will still be up um, because the next fest is now over, but hopefully, like a lot of the other devs, they leave this demo up. You can check it out with the link at the top of the description, see what you think, see how you feel. Uh, but there's a lot to grind for you if you are one of those, and there is, uh, I have now proven that you don't need to grind if you're somebody who doesn't want to. You could just pop on in, press play, and you know for a fact that you can win without putting any points in, in the demo. Uh, but last, last, thank you for watching, check out the channel, Roguelike some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.